Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm actually coming to you today, not from my usual studio, so my sound might be different, but I'm on retreat right now with my mentor and a group of other people, and we're in California, and I wanted to share with you all a question that I'd like you to think about. We talk a lot about goals and what our audiobook goals are, what our publishing goals are, You know, what are those objectives and goals that we have overall that help guide our various projects? And this question may sound like that same consideration, but it is much larger than that, actually. When we think about goals, we're thinking about, you know, sort of targets that we're aiming for in terms of, they may be in terms of metrics that we're trying to hit or other criteria like that. This is a much bigger question, and it includes goals, but it's bigger than goals. So I'm going to keep this episode really short, and I would like you to think about this question because it will impact not just your audiobook decisions, but your entire life. And it's a question that we do not often afford ourselves the time to deeply consider. But it is a question that I am at this time and do frequently consider as I'm choosing the way that I would like to live my life and run my business and the things that I would like to have in my life. And it is also a question that when we take it seriously and really, really think about the big picture for ourselves, that it's surprising sometimes how little clarity we may have on our answer. This is also a question that is usually the very first question that we ask our clients or our potential clients when they come to consider doing an audiobook production or audiobook marketing. And it has a partner question that goes with it. So here it is. The question is, what would you like? Really, what would you like? And I want you to think about beyond just your audiobook, but in your life. And certainly, if you're thinking about an audiobook, which may be why you're listening to this podcast, that may be a part of your picture. And your answer is likely to have many components to it. But select one that you want to really focus on. What would you like? And the adjunct question, once you come up with an answer for that question, is what will having that do for you? You can ask that adjunct question several layers deep, and it's a question very much worth considering. Answering these questions for yourself can bring you so much clarity in terms of your next steps. That may be in relation to your publishing projects, or in some other area of your life. But for this week, in this episode, I invite you to ask that question of yourself. Maybe write down your answer. That may help you, actually, to gain some clarity. And you may change your answer. That's totally fine. But ask yourself, again, what would you like? And what will having that do for you? I hope you have a great week. And will join me again next week. Thanks so much. If your past vanished, who might you become? Hannah, a 46-year-old author plagued with anxiety, and her partner, James, an HR recruiter caught in a headlock of grief over his brother's death, are as desperate for inner peace as they are clueless about how to find it. But when they embark on a sunny bike ride shortly after moving to the San Francisco Bay Area, 
A split-second decision propels them into different versions of their lives, ones they don't recognize as their own. With a mental fog obscuring their recent past and who they were, they are forced to dig inside themselves to figure out who they are now. Surprising discoveries about the nature of the universe send them on a psychological journey towards who they can be. But will they be able to let go of their deeply ingrained subconscious beliefs about life and themselves to embrace the unfamiliar potentials they now face? Get your copy of The Left Turn, Two Lives, Worlds Apart, book one in the Split Universe series at bit.ly slash geist hyphen su1. That's bit dot l-y slash g-e I-S-T hyphen S-U, the number one. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week.